Today I'm going to show you how to make a pineapple upside down cake from scratch. Many, many years ago when I first met my husband, I used to make this for him all the time. And back then I was making it, I was using a box cake mix. But today I'm going to show you how to make it from scratch and it's very easy and it's absolutely delicious. Since this is a pineapple upside down cake, we're going to need pineapple. And I am using the canned pineapple rings in juice. You need to use the one in juice and not the one in the syrup. Now I'm going to make the brown sugar butter that's going to go on the bottom of the pan. But when you flip the cake over, it's going to be on top. And I'm using brown sugar and butter. Now I'm using, as you can see, Guyana brown sugar. But if you can find the packed light brown sugar at the store, that works well. Actually, I feel that makes a better crust for this recipe. Now I am just cooking this on low heat until it melts, until the butter melts. And then I'm going to pour this into a 9 inch cake pan. Using my spoon, I'm just going to spread it out to make sure it covers the bottom of the pan evenly. Now once this is done, I'm going to set it aside and get started on the cake. Now for the cake, you're going to need butter at room temperature because we're going to whip this butter until it's nice and fluffy and we cannot do that if the butter is too cold. And I'm going to mix this until the butter becomes nice and creamy. Then I'm going to scrape down the sides before adding the sugar. Next I'm adding the sugar and I'm just going to mix this together. And you guys as always, the full recipe will be linked below in the description box. Now I'm going to mix the sugar for just a few minutes before adding an egg. And once you add that egg, you want to do it one at a time and mix it well until it's nicely incorporated and the mixture is going to be nice and fluffy and creamy. When I met my husband many years ago, I was 16 years old. I learned quickly that this was his favorite cake, so I would go to the supermarket, get all the ingredients and make it for him. And I still do to this day, but the only difference is I actually make it from scratch now. Now that the mixture looks like this, it's time to add the second egg. And we're going to whip it and repeat the process until it's nice and fluffy and creamy. Now once that egg is mixed into that butter and sugar mixture, I'm going to add vanilla extract and just mix that in as well. Now that this is done, I'm going to set this aside and get started on the dry ingredients. To a bowl, I'm adding all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, and freshly grated nutmeg. Now I'm going to stir this all together just to make sure that all the ingredients are nicely distributed before adding it to the wet ingredients. Now I'm going to add half of that flour mixture and just mix that in just until it's combined. Once the flour has mixed into the batter, it's time to add the pineapple juice. Now this is the reason why you need to buy the pineapple that's in the juice and not in the syrup. Because the syrup is going to make the cake too sweet. And we're going to pour all of the pineapple juice in and just mix it until it's combined. And as always, the full recipe is linked below in the description box. It's going to lead you over to my website, giancancoke.com, where I share this recipe and many more like this. So be sure to head on over and check it out. Now we're going to add the remainder of the flour and just mix it until it's combined. I'm scraping down the sides of the bowl just to make sure that we get all of that flour into the mixture and just stir it just to make sure that there are no clumps of flour that remains in the batter. Now I'm cutting my pineapple in half because I'm doing a design but you don't have to do that. You can just leave it whole and place it down into that butter and sugar mixture into one even layer and then place maraschino cherries in between. Now I'm going to add the cake batter on top of that pineapple butter mixture and using my spatula I'm just going to spread it out just to have a nice even layer. And 
Next, I'm gonna place this into my preheated oven and I'm gonna bake this until it's nice and golden brown like this. And place this on a rack for just a few minutes to cool before using a knife to loosen the sides. This is important to do because remember, we're gonna flip this cake over so that that pineapple brown sugar layer that's on the bottom is gonna become the top of the cake, hence the name, pineapple upside down cake. Now look at that, absolutely beautiful and perfect. Look at how the brown sugar has just caramelized and you guys, if you've never had a pineapple upside down cake, you're in for a treat. It's best to let this cool completely before serving. But that combination of pineapple and the brown sugar and butter is absolutely amazing and it gives the cake a nice crunch just along the edges but it's so soft and moist in the middle. And thank you guys for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at giancancook.com and I will see you guys next time.